हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन क्लास फोर एंड दिस इज योर इंग्लिश रीडर क्लास टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर वन द बी एफ जी स्टूडेंट्स दिस बुक वॉज रिटर्न बाई रोल डेल एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट दिस author students roald dahl was a british novelist writer of short stories screen writer and a poet he was born in wells in 13th september 1916 his short stories are known for their unexpected endings he was died on 23rd november 1919 okay now comes to the chapter students the bfg is the short form of the big friendly chant students chant means ghost so basically this story is about a ghost okay so students before explaining this chapter i want to ask you few questions okay have you read or heard any ghost story what do you think about ghosts are they scary or friendly what would you do if you meet a ghost one day okay so students think on these questions and write your opinion about these questions in your rough notebook okay now comes to the main two character of this story so first main character in this story is the b f g means the big friendly giant okay the b f g is who is so honorable that he had rather eat awful tasting awful tasting snows cumber than eat human beings he is caught use ears and a sharp nose and a pale wrinkly face okay and the another character in this story is sufi sufi is a young girl lives in an orphanage she is imaginative creative and kind hearted girl okay students as the story is one is of one night in which sufi was frightened of the bfg then the bfg takes her from her window and they travel all night along sufi eventually realizes the bfg is not going to eat her he is just taking her to his home in chant country the big friendly chant and sufi soon become great friends sufi tells the bfg that no one will miss her at the orphanage okay but students in your book you have to read 
only a part of this story and as the story unfolds a young girl named sufi lies in bed in an orphanage she can't sleep and sees a strange sight in the street a gentleman is walking in the street carrying a suitcase and what looks like a trumpet he sees sufi who runs to her bed and tries to hide this does not work and the chant picks her up through the window before she could act he runs incredibly fast with her and vanishes in the darkness